everyone. Welcome to our class. I'm just doing a few tests here and then we're going to get going. So we got really two minutes before the bell ring for class to start. So I'm just, that looked good. So if Okay, now if you can tell me, everyone, hear me? Now well, this is dark. Just one second, we gotta fix that. One little second there, we will fix that. One second there. Here we go. I'm going to light up here in a second. Light up. It's glaring, really, because I got all those lights. So let's go. Mm, it looks like it's grainy there. Let's hope that's okay at the other end. <laughs> I don't like what I see there. Let's see. Let's hope it's not grainy at the other end. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me close that. Here we go. Okay, so if you can tell me, I want, I'm going to pause that there. Okay. I'm looking. It looked great for me. Okay, so let's, oh, yeah, what I'm seeing on my uh, thing there, it don't look good at all. It's a, it's a different device that I use for this, and it's kind of tricky. Okay, it's not on autofocus. That's what I wanted. It, I'm not even sure if the voice match. So, okay, we're going to go with it. It looked like uh, it's going over there. Look good there. Okay, awesome. So welcome, welcome. This is a humongous uh, class. We're going to make 18 cards. So before I want to get started, though, it's a few things I want to say. And so because it's so many cards. Oh, I forgot my... Uh... I'm looking for the rest of the paper here. Okay, um, I use exactly a quarter of the pack of the cardstock here, the Feel Like Frost. And I think we get one sliver that we don't use. The rest, it's all used. So, because we're making that many cards, I don't have, I mean, we would be here way longer. So, I don't have, uh, I won't cut the paper. Everything been pre-cut. But all the one that want to get the PDF, look on page two. You get an extra page that you get an extra video. On that page, you get an extra video that I share how to cut every piece of the paper. And the beauty about what i done, you're going to want to have some uh, post-it note. You're going to see when I do my cards, they're full of post-it notes. So as you cut your paper you're gonna have i'm gonna say okay this is card one and the leftover go with card 16 or card two and leftover go with card 13 because this is six by six so the way you cut the paper you get some leftover and we're making extra cards some piece go inside and so on so that video explain everything so when you watch that 
and cut your paper, I suggest that you get your card base. It, it's tell you how many card bases you need. Uh, a lot of it, it's cut on the long way at 11 by four and a quarter score at five and a half. I would say prepare your card base and then get your post-it note so then you know where to uh, put it. So then the PDF going to run very smooth. So it's exactly a quarter sheet. So if you buy a pack of this, really you would be able to make four sets of the cards I'm sharing tonight. Some's going to be on that pretty uh, um, silver side. So with um, a $50 order before tax and shipping, this is the hostess code. Oops, you want to enter Oops. this way. It's YD 2NXZVG. So with a $50 order, if you you cannot remember this, I'm sure Ollie going to put it in the notes there. And also it's on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. On top of it, I started yesterday my uh, retire stamp sale. And I just all week, uh, this week till a few days next week, it's going to be open to everybody Wednesday. But till then, it's just available to uh, my customer, my I call you guys that shop with me, my loyal customer. So uh, to get access to that, if you place any size order, it can be with tonight, Ostas Code, or any size order, you will get the link to open the, the page that I get all my stamps set. And they are marked very low. If you participate in my retired stamp set, you know that they are low and I get different accessories to everything there it's retire so that is going on to also so I think uh, that's about it we got a lot to do so we're going to get started I'm going to have to flip you down and upside down we go uh, I got this big bundle here for a door price screen price whatever we call it it's a lot of cheers and then I got Come Sail Away and Magnolia Land, two full pack of uh, those memory and more cards. Awesome for scrapbook and awesome to make cards. I got many IDs with them already on my blog. And also I got a pack of sequins, uh, adhesive, uh, self-adhesive sequins. So that's going to be uh, at the end tonight. We're going to pick a winner. The way that it worked to be entered in the drawing, you have to leave a comment. So, and it's just one entry per, per person. And all the enter, everybody's name throughout the night. She got a program. And at the end, she clicked, bleep, and then it spin and it tossed her a name. So that's how we pick the winner. If you are not in the U.S., I cannot send you the goodies because... A policy I can only do business in the United States if it happened that you are not in the US I will send you a car so right away if you're not in the US if you can tell us then we can pick another winner so shall we I think that's about it I talk about my retire sale how to get the PDF and we're ready to rock and roll let's go so you can uh, start the timer. I uh, told myself that I wanted to uh, try that in 90 minutes. Here we go. That's going to be in my way. You know what? You guys know my thing. I'm just going to pop this here, see how that go over there. Okay, so I got, so this is my pile here if you're wondering. So this is what we're going to work on tonight. We got all this to work on tonight. 
we're going to start with part number one. And like I said, we're using exactly a quarter of the path of that Design Your Siri paper. And it is um, this up here. Exactly a quarter of the paper and all bits and pieces are used. And you're going to find out throughout uh, this year, I know it's, uh, uh, let me think here, Christmas paper, but we are doing many uh, birthday cards. So the first one, it's this lovely uh, print over here. So you see, I got my number one here. And if I open this up, you're going to see I get another post-it note. And you cannot read my writing, but that's okay. I I can read my home. It's number one, but then partial of this paper, you're going to find it on card 17. So that's how I, when I cut my paper, I knew where it was going and so on. And you get a video just for that, and that's included with the PDF. So now, many things I get pre-cut, but then we still going to have to cut. So this one here, I kept this over here to share with you how it was done. All the frames, so that, like this, like this. Okay, all the frame that we are using tonight, it's these two here. The big one, it is four and three, eight by three. That's the big one, I would have put that there. And then the smallest one, the inside here, it is two and one quarter by three and a half. You have an echo and somebody said no echo. Hmm. Sound like volume, it's on her phone. Okay, let me check one thing here. I don't hear no echo at this end. Ollie, if you can confirm that, I don't know. Somebody got an echo. Hmm. I just popped that up. One minute. Let me check one thing here. Ollie, if you can... Um, no echo, echo. Hmm. Yes, an echo. Well, let me see. One minute. I don't have an echo. Well, that is strange that some do have an echo and some don't. That's what I don't get. Okay, I have a Nico. Some of us do and some of us don't. That's what I am wondering why. Let me check one more thing. No echo now. That is just... Okay, one second here. Because it's kind of strange if some do not hear. You don't have no echo neither. So I, that, okay, perfect. Thank you, girl. Bye-bye. Okay, that, I really don't know what to say about that. Because uh, some do and some don't, so... 
No, I don't have then I don't have I just get one device open. That's it. Hmm. So okay, let's see that again. And I look and all the other windows are shut. Now it's good. Okay, so let's rock and roll with this okay let's hope that um let's hope it's all good the echo it's gone because i check everything and i, I want to double check nothing else it's open so if you hear more echo let me know because the the weird thing that i found it's that some hear it and some some don't so for me that don't make sense okay Track back the timer. This don't count. And then this would be there. And then I would cut. So this is going to be all the frames that we're using tonight. These sides. Okay. So let me move this aside. And then I would remove that. And I cut mine together. I just cut mine together. And when I cut rectangle, I just uh, go sideways a little bit in my die cut machine. Now... Because I didn't do no layers in the back of that. The best glue for this, it's going to be to use your Tombow. And the reason why I say to use your Tombow, it's because if you use snail or if you use tape or fast fuse or whatever, then when you put it down, it's hard to move it. While with the uh, liquid glue, you can move this around before that it's very secure there. So now we got that one there. Now what we're gonna do for the frame, we're gonna take, we're gonna use a lot of that tonight. Oh, right here. We're gonna use the foam strip. So that it's one thing that I'm gonna say I recommend for this, for tonight, it is the foam strip. And I use so much foam, foam strip. I got an awesome tip for you. So let me put this there and watch. You know, sometimes I was struggling with um, pulling the backing of the foam strip. Well, no more of that. I think, you know, when you do that many, you learn many, many tricks. Put that right there. Oops. Okay, so to remove the backing in the back here, take your fingernail or your thumb and just start scratching and boom. Okay, I need a trash can close to me tonight though. So then, see, you just, and it come right off. Completely right off. You just like push it down, push down and starts, see, boom. Kaboom, bang, bang. Here we go. Now we're going to take this. We're going to put this in the center of this one. And this one here, I used the crystal effect. And I just did inside the frame where you see that frost, uh, whatever, the ice on top of the whatever the weeds, the flower, the tumbleweed, the thistle, whatever it's called, I just put my crystal effect inside the frame, not outside. This is gonna take a little bit of time to dry, but we still can finish our car. So when you were done with that, you would tap it down because you don't want it to leave it um, in the barrel, but because we're gonna use it tonight, I want it ready to go, so I'm just keeping it this way. So that is done. And now uh, for the mousse, I uh, stamped the mousse with early espresso on gray granite. We're going to use dimensional to glue it. And I get two mousse. It's because it's one that's going to go inside and one on the outside. So I think that make a very lovely masculine card. We're going to take this. And I put it right there, Daddy, walk on the side there. Mm -hmm. And I really love mousse. 
and oh i cannot lift my legs there but dang it i took it off see i got my oops my moose moose socks tonight it's funny because i get capris and i get my socks it got cold here it just got plain cold and I look a little bit funny tonight with my socks and my uh, capris. Okay, yes, very Canadian. I agree with that. I don't know who put that there, but yes, yes, yes. I love, love me some moose. Love it. He is so pretty. And Holly don't have no Canadian in her, but she sure do love that moose. We went at the camping, a camp, cabin uh, stamping one here at her dad's cabin. And when we, she was like, I want to see a moose, I want to see a moose. We pulled in and here was the big moose waiting for us. She was so excited. It was like a kid in a um, candy shop. My goodness. So now I um, die cut this here. It's the stitch a circle from the... Uh, frame uh, shape the shapes and uh, stamp it with uh, the rich red uh, not rich red so black berry blackberry bliss and then sponge around I have to be careful because of the thing there so I'm gonna open this up and this piece here see it's kind of gray in the back I'm gonna put that I have to be careful keep this here just because I don't want it to uh, my glue, it's not, oops, not on that side. Okay, when I said I had a little bit of leftover, this is the piece here. Okay, I'm so afraid. Oh, well, I think I'm good because it's, uh, it, we get the frame there. And then the mousse inside, I just use glue dots and put moussey moussey right here. Okay, this here, those three little pieces here, oops, this is the leftover from this here. Or, no, it's not from this part. That's the waste we get in all uh, tonight's cards. That's it, I think. That's it. Here we go. So now we got number one done. I'm just going to keep one of this here. Oh, no, sorry, not the... Where is, um, I saw my uh, embellishment, and it's right here. I just love those uh, design um, elements. That, I'm going to use my, and I'm using the silver with this, and I put it just at three corners, because really it's no use to put on the other corner, right? Oops, come back here. And I think that, oh, did I get a gold there? No, that's silver. Man, the light is weird tonight. Here we go. So now we are done. So we got card, um, card number one done. Here we go. Let's move that aside. Oh, sorry, Doc. Okay, number two. Number two. Number two, it's another moose. Here is our number two. So this one again, I, this one, though, you're going to take your designer series paper and you're going to glue it on another piece of a uh, whisper white cardstock because the designer's paper, paper blah, 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 the designer seared paper it's kind of soft it's not it's light so i wanted something more solid so now what we're going to do is take our outside frame you can start all together or you can start with the outside here here i'm going to show you uh, Some of it, it's better if you start in the center. This one, because the center, it's raised. I'm going to put this here, because this one, it's flat. And 
and then I won't glue this one, but I still gonna have to put it down there here. Let me, this is in my way. I still gonna have to put it down, and then I'm gonna take, oh, we need to stamp our happy birthday. So the happy birthday, that is from the Magnolia Blooms. You know, I use that set a lot. We're using that quite a bit tonight, Magnolia Blooms. And that it's in early espresso. And I'm going to take my happy birthday. And we're going to smack that right here. And I got my washi washi someplace. Here it is. Because we're going to use the same step quite often. So washi washi. Ready again. And the mousse, it's on early espresso, and I stamp on early espresso. So I just stamp the outline. Uh, plaid, plaid, whatever it is. Michelle, it's on. She's going to say it's not the way you say that. Are we going to say plaid? I want to say plaid. Uh, whatever it is. P-L- I-D. Here we go. It's stamp on crumb cake with crumb cake, Okay. So now we have to put this center before we can do anything else, though, just so it's going to match very lovely. So I'm going to take this, make sure it's done good. Now I can align this very good. See, we got all, it's all floating good. Now I'm going to take my frame, remove this. Now we're going to take our, again, Or foam strip. So if you don't have foam strip, I think you would like to have some for this. It's easy to do the frames. It's a little bit more thicker than um, the foam strip, or a little bit more thick, thicker too than a dimensional. Uh, if you would do dimensional, you have to put so much. It's just that you want a good surrounding of your frame. And the reason, so it don't cave in. And you see, I just snip them off. So again, I just take my finger, boom off, boom off. Stay there. They are sticky a little bit. They stick right on top of you. Okay, now, because you play around with it, when you come to put it on your uh, card, you want to make sure that you get your matching frame because it would be easy to see to turn it. So now I'm going to get it's matching. How pretty is this? Now I'm going to take one of the, the three and we're going to put that right there. Mr. Moose again adds with dimensional. And I forgot to grab another pack of dimensionals. So maybe we're going to have a little potty break for some of you and I'm going to go get dimensional. Maybe I get enough too. But we're using a lot of dimensional tonight. Absolutely, we're using a lot of dimensional. Then I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. Here it is. And now this here, you're just going to put in the center, okay? You don't want the glue on each side because you don't want it to... If, you put pressure on it, it stick weird. So now I just put that right here. And that is it. We got number two done. Ah, oh, I love me some mousse. And inside, I stamped the mousse, all, uh, the bold one, the one, the full one. I stamped that in a crumb cake. And here, one of the strip, I put it at the top. And voila, number two done. Okay, now, oops. Now we're on number three, number three, num numero trois. And again, it's our, this is all my albino, 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 albino moose. I just love them. Love my moose. 
And they're not all moose. Don't get discouraged. If you don't like the moose like I do, we're going to have more. So the moose, uh, I think this is just looked like where a moose would be back home or in Wyoming. I'm just going to put my frame loose there. And um, this stamp set here is Itty Bitty Christmas. And I think that's the only stamp that I mount from that. But I'm going to use it so much that it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, that's the only one that I use. I think I use this one so much. It doesn't matter if I use the other one or not. I get my money's worth. I absolutely love the different greeting in it. And, the you know, it's not just cursive and so on. You get a blessed Christmas wish I would think I would use. I mean... A lot of them I would use. It's just thinking of you at Christmas. I love it. Another reason why I love it also, it fits in a circle. I'm big on circle greeting. So now we're going to leave that uh, plane there. And it go on Night of Navy. And I got my Night of Navy here. And I just... You want to stamp before you raise your uh, frame. So that's why I didn't do this one in advance because I wanted to show you how it's a lot better. Because if you raise your frame first, it's going to be art stamp because this going to hit this here, the side of your frame. So now I got my uh, greeting done. We're going to washi washi because uh, it's a good chance we're going to use this stamp again. Go. And now again, you got it. Can you guess what I'm using? Bingo! It is the foam strip. So we can put that there. Oh, is it going so far? Are you enjoying it? I'm trying to look at common while I glue those strip on. Go. Well, better to leave it flat. Like I said, just scratch the back of this and see the backing of this come right off. I was a little bit excited because I was trying to peel like this, you know, but no, you just whoop, boom, done. Okay, now we're going to, and this is the uh, glimmer uh, paper here, that beautiful dazzling diamond uh, that looks straight, call it good. Now, um, we're going to take the mousse, and like I said, the dimensional are lower than the, the foam strip, so that's why it fits lower below this. I'm going to put my mousse right here. This card is just screaming to me. I just love it. Did I say that yet? Well, all the mousse cards. I, I think all the cards. They're, I, I think I did all pretty good. Well, I love it. Put it that way. I'm going to give myself a pack of uh, a bunch of roses or so here. Here are the three. And you could have sponged the three, you know, to bring it more up and that, but I just want it all white. And then I got the, the snowflake. And see the snowflake, it's hard because you got the, the glue going on the side. Let me share what I'm going to do there. I'm going to put that there. And to remove that uh, stickiness there... I'm using my embossing buddy here. And some people are going to say they use baby powder or whatever. I don't have no more babies. So I just use my embossing buddy. And then, see, it's not sticky no more. And then inside, I use one of the strip with another snowflake. Boom. And uh, all of my card base, it is done on heavy whisper white. Heavy whisper white. Oh, this one was a little bit longer there, maybe. Here we go. You can shave that off a little bit if you one was different.
But here is our number three. Okay, number four. Number four, it's bing, bang, boom, we are done. Number four, that's, oops, I got that powder here. It's, uh, I call that that Boca look, and it would go fast, or oh, here it is. And then that, it's a rich raspberry or blackberry bliss, blackberry bliss that I did it. oh, I didn't get out. Not bad that if I just uh, miss one uh, stamp set, right? Here we go. Uh, I mean, one ink. Oh, cockeye a bit. Here we go. So I got my Blackberry Bliss here. And we're going to stamp our happy birthday. And again, it's the same set. We're going to smack that right here. And I already glue my designer series paper. So some of them you won't have to wait for me to glue because it's all glued the same with the liquid glue. I figure you see me do one, you don't have to see me do the 18, right? But here we're going to use, um, let me bring my um, device here. We're going to use, again, the crystal effect. And where you're going to see the frost, and the snow, so I'm using my eyes glitter. I just love that stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the branch. And you're gonna see where you get the ice and so on. You don't have to put on all of them, but on some. And you can put some, then put your glitter on it, and then come and put more of the crystal effect and then not the ice on uh, not the ice glitter on top so you would have some that you don't have the full frost you just have like the ice here we go and then i'm gonna go i won't do it because now this stop the stickiness i'm afraid i'm gonna put something well what the heck Gonna be careful so you guys can see see i just go at a few more plays and add uh, just ice without that uh, glitter thing now let me remove this oops that was not good and, and now we got our number four done. Et voila, at the bottom. So see number four, when I cut the paper, it went with number 13. So they all get numbers like that. And that's the other video. Here we go, number four. Okay, let me go put this one on the back table book. Because I didn't want it to get uh, all uh, number five. Number five, again, I glue my piece there. Oh, we need to do some embossing here. Okay, I pre cut uh, the circle, the stitch circle, and then I sponge around. Now we're going to stamp with uh, the Versa mark. And let me bring my, uh, and this is the, the white with the glitter in it. It's the new one. It's called the Shimmer White. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And yes, it's the same stamp set, the Magnolia Blue. And if you see, it's kind of grayish. That's that glitterish in this here. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, that fell down quick. Okay, let me move that aside. 
and we're going to bring the heat tool. Now we get that part done. Now on the little butterfly, the tiny little one, you see this here? I did the wing, well, I uh, punch it and then um, sponge around and then I just add the wing of Stella on the little one. That's it. Now for the big one, I use a uh, my um, embossing, uh, not embossing, but my uh, glitter. So it's a few way you can do that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try, uh, you know what, here we go. I'm gonna put that here. And, And you can take a sponge also. Oh, I think this glue is not open. It's not. So that's why it's not coming out. Okay, once again, we're going to take one that it started. I had to bring a spare one. And we're going to use the one that it's open first. very light on this. Tap this in. I'm gonna come here, do the other side. I thought to do with the thing in the back, but this is gonna go easier for this. Very light. See, I just keep on pushing it. Tap it in there. Et voila. Yeah, I can add more if I would want on the side there. But I think that's pretty slick. Now, I don't know where this comes from. Oh, there it is. I, I better put that away because if not, we're going to have a big glitter mess. And you know, then I'm going to start sneezing and sneezing because I'm allergic to glitter, and then we're going to have to stop the show. Okay, that is put away. See, I'm using quite a bit of glitter here tonight. It can be dangerous. Okay. Ooh. And put that back right in there. Here we go. And now we're going to take, and this is that beautiful seaside ribbon. We're going to put that right around the cards. I want to show it in the inside too. And we're going to do a little bow here. Top and bottom. Tight the knot, top and bottom. Do your loop at the bottom first. Take the top to the right to the left, to the right to the left, under, and, oops, I missed my squeeze. Okay, bottom loop, top to the right, to the left in the, in the hole. So where is my hand here? Here we go. And just pull and pull. If voila! How sweet of a bow is that? Now, uh, this ribbon been cut for a while and it's right there. I'm just going to put that here. Put that here sideways. And then I 
like to use a glue dot if uh, right here we are. I like to use a glue dot and put in the back of my bow. So then it stopped the moving. Et voilà. Now the happy birthday in the circle is going to be the uh, pop up with dimensional. So I'm going to put dimensional in the back here. Now I'm at the corner, the side of my dimensional there. So you see, we didn't hit Christmas yet. So this paper, don't think as it's in the holiday catalog that is just for the um, Christmas. Now this, I think it's a glue dot. Yeah, I think it's a glue dot. It doesn't matter, glue dot, or something, whatever. You need something to glue it, right? And I'm going to put that right here. Here we go. And then my two little one. Oh my goodness gracious. I will be full of glitter. See that? Man, Holly would be happy. Here we go. See, boom, bang, boom, all done. And inside, I use the Magnolia Bloom, stem in the seaside, put that strip there. This is, here we go. You know what? I didn't do that, but I will, because I don't want it to slide inside neither. So take a glue dot and fix that up here. So then that won't slide inside. And you see, number five, when I cut it, go with the 15 and the 16. So all the other video, it's all in details when to cut all your paper. Et voila. How pretty is that? I think that's gorgeous. Okay, number six. Number six, it's the most complicated one. Oh, I love numbers. Okay, so number six, I use the vellum inside, so it's like a free flow frame. And tonight, instead of the vellum, we're going to do the same thing with window sheets. So you're going to be able to see the difference. So what you're going to do... It's glue your uh, paper on it. The vellum, the vellum are window sheets still on the side. We're going to put that here and then we're going to use our frame. And you're going to place your frame here. And then over here. Okay, now I'm going to take um, I think that's my tape. No, that's not it. That's good. I test it out, right? Okay, let me see. I, I get repositionable tape here. Yeah. So what I do, I like to place my frame You know what? Let's place this one here. Here we go. Now I'm going to take this one. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape. Or you can take post-it note, whatever that work for you. Now I'm going to run that in my die cut machine. And when I run that, I'm going to go tilt it just a little bit. I don't have much chance, but that engage better. Let me cut that. You want to look in the back to make sure that it's cut all the way and it will cut all the way. Now we can remove our frame. 
And I have to take the center out first because I overlap that the tape. When you take the tape, go at one end and go down so you don't rip anything precious. I'm going to remove this. And then, and the other frame too, it's like that that I cut it together, but it was not on the card base. This one, it's on the card base. So that's why you want to make sure you open it. If not, you're going to have kind of a funny thing. See, I just pull it down. Here we go. I could have went back with the the die and pass it back in the machine, but okay. Now before you glue anything or so on, you want to put this piece inside. Let me make sure that this is. Now I cannot even remember which piece is where. Okay, it go this way. So it's going to go this way. Just make sure you know where it go. Now you're gonna take Tombow liquid glue. I find this the most friendly because this is not raised here. So you don't put the foam strip on this one. This is flat. So really what we're doing, we're bringing the party inside here. I keep this flat down here. Put that right there. That down good. We're gonna open this up now. Just wanna make sure it's pressed good. Now we're gonna take, yes, it's gonna show the, the tape. I don't have, I mean, you can use Tombow, you can use the tape. It seemed that it's gonna show a bit. So what I do, I just Go a bit with my um, fast few um, tear and tape seems to show less. Somebody said, well, they do um, sell um, the tape for vellum. Well, if you find a tape that say, oops, 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 vellum and um, it don't show, let me know because I bought three different kind and it do the same thing. It, it show. Now, what I do, now that I get the glue there, I put my window sheet or the vellum in here, right here. I line that up here. I take this and close it. See, we got the perfect match. Is that cool? I think that's cool. I like the window sheet. Okay, so. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna go on top here. So again, we're gonna take this. And you can always cut another frame and put it inside to cover, you know, that part. You could always do that, absolutely. Now I'm gonna match that right here. And then I'm gonna hold it a little bit, okay? And while that it's finishing processing, we're gonna say gluing. What I done, I use a uh, fast fuse here. We're gonna put a few, uh, and this is Highland Indigo. Oops, come back here. And I just took some of the, what it's called, the linen, not linen, but the metallic, silver and I did some loopy loop you can do as many as you want as little as you want whatever uh, float your boat if you ask me how long I'm using I don't have a clue because I keep that on my spool. 
going to say that is good for this. And now we're going to cut that there. And we're going to take um, more glue here. And we're going to put that right under that piece. Here we go. Okay, I see right here. My window went on the side a bit, so that's no biggie. What I'm going to do, turn my car and shave that off here. My window slide a bit off, so see, give him a little air cut here, and voila. So you see, you see the glue a bit, but <laughs> you know what? That, that's what it is. And then I got one more piece. I don't know where it flew out. Oh, here it is. I had one extra piece. And then I put that right here. At the top. Now, when it stand up, it looked like it's a free thing. It's free fall. So, this one I put it in the corner and it looked like it's the, the circle that hold it. I want this one in the center. After it was all glue, I thought, hmm, I think if I put my circle in the center, it's going to be really like, oh my goodness, that full illusion. You know, how the heck that stand up there. So I'm going to come here, put that, oh, maybe more at the bottom here because I love the top. Et voila. So you cannot see much there, but... Imagine, this is what you see. It's like you don't really see the window. And it's like, wow, what all that piece? Because it looked like this is free falling. See? It's kind of cool, right? You know what? I just see something that it's really, really, really bugging me. One second. I was way off on one side. I'm not one to keep stuff straight, but on the free frame like that, that really did show not good. Okay, so now, much better. See, it looked like it's a free frame, a free falling frame. Is that cool? I think it's sweet. So when you stand that up, it's such a nice frame. So now you got it with the window sheet and the villain to get that, that weird, not weird, but that full illusion uh, look. You want the window sheet. Absolutely the window sheet. It's wicked cool. Here we go. Another one. Number seven. We have to roll here. Number seven. Number seven, it is frame again. This one, we have to start in the center. No choice. Because we built... From in up. So what we're going to do, it's, um, I put glitter on all that funny stuff there. It's already done. I'm going to take my ribbon, put it around. And I got way plenty of ribbon. I don't know where I thought I was going, but I thought I was going to town with this ribbon for sure. Oh, my hands are not working for my bow tonight. I keep on dropping the first loop. Here we go. Voila. And then I'm going to pull. And then I'm going to pull. Now I get my nice little bow. And we're going to cut that diagonal and cut this diagonal. Voila! That's a lot of waste, but you know what? It is what it is. So, you're going to... I I did all the glitter in advance. Like I said, you saw me how I had the glitter. What I'm going to do, because it's easier, because 
this side it's raised up it's hard to glue the side first and then go inside when it's raised up so what i do i place everything on my card and we're going to put the glue in the back here okay let me make sure this is straight so what i do to make sure it's straight i tap this here Hold this with my little fingers here. Slide this at the top. It's kind of tricky because we get that bow there, the ribbon. Then we're going to raise this one up. Okay, now we're ready. As long as you don't move your center, you're good. Now this one, the first one here, it's with glue dots. That, I'm sorry, not glue dots, dimensional. I said glue dots, but it's dimensional. You know what? Little dimensional going to work for this. So I'm going to add a few of that. And then the next one is going to be the foam strip. Like I said, the glue dots are um, not as thick. So then it gives us, you know, down and then this, it gives us different depth in the car. You know what this is all chewed up it's i had done with nuts and bolts with that let me pull this one okay i don't want that here okay here here and here it's gonna be good for now now let me That's the longest part, right? Still have one there. Right here. This one is just stubborn. Here we go. Now we're going to glue this one. Make sure to put it as all the way tight together. Okay, now the next one is our um, all around. I didn't bring a glass of water and I would do anything to get a glass of water right now. Too bad my dogs don't have uh, hands. Now we're going to remove this. And then the next life class, it's not in stone yet. We're looking at the 23rd of uh, November. That is a Saturday. That seemed way off. Yep. See, you have to pay attention. I was way off and I was like, what? I had the wrong side and my thing were not matching. Oh, come back here. Okay, I have to stand up here to look from the top. go okay i got a little uh, something something here let me fix my blue boots if i find my scissors if i would be a little scissors i would be right in front of me there we go if 
voila! How sweet it is! So, now we get this one done. Isn't that pretty? And I stamp the happy birthday with Night of Navy. Okay, here is this one. Uh, okay, this one here, I'm going to, the next, uh, oops, the next bird there, the next car, no, I'm going to show you how I done that. So, uh, uh oh, where that fell? Is that fell from this one or the other one? Okay, this one here, I glue my paper at the top and I use my frame. You can cut the full frame. I had messed up, so uh, it's just the back of it. So you can cut the full one or just a square to put in the back, whatever it worked for you. So what I uh, done, it's put my glue in the back. I think it's time to get the new uh, Tombow there. Okay, where is my mat? Here it is. I like to work on my mat. And I can align this good. Okay. Now we're gonna do more glue. And the bird, I don't know, the cardinal, I don't know if you saw my uh, cardinal, the easy coloring. This is how I done this one. So I stamped the cardinal with Knight of Navy on the stamparatus and then did a wash, color that, and then come back and stamp it with black. So I'm going to share the next one I'm going to share because it's a little bit different the next one. So I'm going to share that very simple. So you stamp in one color then do with the, the brush, the aqua painter, and then uh, do the stamp it back after it dry. I'm looking for my glue dots now. My goodness. Oh, here they are. So now I get the glitter uh, snowflake here. I don't have to worry about the center because I'm going to put a gem and that's those lovely little gem here, the clear one. So let me. Right in the center of that one. Then I'm going to, well, let's do the or cardinal, and that's going to be done with a uh, dimensional, but don't, don't put it, oh yeah, I, I thought it was inside, doesn't matter, we don't see the window of this one, I did another one in another video that you saw it from inside, so just pop that up with dimensional, and um, the beak, I use a um, Crush curry on one and then daffodil on the other one. So whatever that you prefer. I mean, it's no right and wrong for the beak. Um, and that's done with a blends. Or you could use marker also. Voila. And then we're going to use um, some rhinestone just randomly in the window. Et voilà, that is it. So uh, the frame, it's from this bundle here, the frosted foliage. And it's the same that I get my snowflake from that and so on. And inside, I just stamped the greeting from that set, or it could have been uh, the set from, I'm sorry, the set from the cardinal there. And that's it. See how pretty. Love it. Okay, now the next one I need to bring my birds though. So um, the next one it's very similar to what we did. But if you see, this is we see the cardinal always in the red, right? 
Well, I took picture here from the backyard, and we got um, the cardinal. Um, that's the mama cardinal. She's kind of in a tone brown color with just a bit of red. So here, let me show you how it's done. With and it's the same thing. The other one you would have stamped and um, you would have stamped and let me think. Uh, Knight of Navy. This one, gray granite or crumb cake. I would have to look at my direction. I'm not even sure. One or the other, it don't matter. I think it's gray granite. And we're going to stamp this. Lift this up. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to color that with your aqua painter. And you're going to use a little bit of red, so like cherry color. <clears throat> so I would color this here. See, it's just mixed the color that you get there already. This one don't want to mix the best, so the darker, the better it is. You see it mixed there. First of all, I didn't have enough water. Here we go. So can you see that? I think you can see. You can always also add more color. And I'm going to... like to use this for my palette here and I'm going to add more here so then I would have to let this dry a bit and then okay where's my inky rack I took um, the cherry cobbler put it a little bit in this poofy hair here and then a little bit on the wings here, under the belly. Oops, don't worry about that because it's going to get uh, cut anyway. Let me just blend it a bit there. Here we go. So you see, it looked like not much, right? Let me add a bit more darkness here. So really, the first step is just to guide you a bit. And then you just do your wash. Like the Night of Navy, trust me, you don't have to add more color. You get plenty. So now, after that, it's done. We're going to build our card, and then I'm going to show you the next step there. Well, we could always take this. Oh, that took it. Here we go. Oh, that's mango. That's a bit... I don't want mango, though. No, 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 no. It's daffodil that I want. One must have been the light and the other one the dark. Okay, we're going to leave that there, and that's going to dry while we uh, finish our card, and then I can show you how that is done. So again, I cut, I mean, I cut, I glue that on the top, and then I took the puff paint right here, and then I need my ice glitter. my ice glitter and what I done it's you see the snow on this and this it's kind of uh, it come very quick oh this was wait a minute same done there we go seem I just said water there here we go add my snow and I'm gonna add a bit of snow here You don't have to add snow all over where it is, here and there. And before you eat, set that emboss, you're going to take your ice glitter. Tap, tap, tap. And 
then we're going to emboss this. Somebody said the DSP upside down. It could have been. See? And when you emboss that, you want to make sure you emboss it plenty because if not, the back layer, whatever it stick, and it's, it won't dry. So you want to make sure that you emboss that good. And now it's going to curve the paper because it's been glued there. So I'm going to press it down. Would be better to glue your paper after, to be honest, because it won't damage your layer. Okay, let me put that here. And I got this, it's from the same stamp set with the Cardinal. We're going to put that, I had put Wink of Stella on the, on the first one I did, and it washed, the, it smeared the blue, and I prefer not to, so uh, you're going to see the difference here. After I done it, I'm like, mm, no, I should not have done that. Okay, I got my Christmas wishes right here. And then dimensional again for this. I'm on the, the last of the last of this year. on the branch there and what I had done I had put snow right on top of his feet there so it looked like he's anchored down in the snow there and you can always add more snow if it's not enough you know you can add more Here we go. That looked better to me. So that's how I done this one. Oh, and I see too, uh, a little bit of red in the tail. I didn't do that on the other one, but you get the jig of it. Oh. Okay, now what you would do is clean your bird, because we use uh, whatever, oh, uh, gray granite. You would clean this. Now you can use stays on or you can use memento, whatever you prefer. It doesn't matter because you we want watercolor on top. Now I got memento in front of me here. Because you know it's still at the same position. Take this. And you're gonna do the same thing with your knight of navy. You color with the knight of navy and stand back with the black. If voila. See how much it brings back the bird to life. It's amazing. It's just amazing the way that this technique works. It works wonderful, wonderful, awesome. And then I, it's going to be die cut. You're going to say, well, I die cut mine, and I had a lot of red around it. Yes, that is a big possibility because... I uh, want it less white around, so I trim a little bit after that I die cut. You are correct. Yours will have more of uh, that. Now, inside, 
This one I cut a little bit different after, uh, it doesn't matter, you're going to be left with strip. So um, what I done, instead the biggest one here, okay, I'm going to cut a uh, glue this here, and that's where you're going to have a little bit of extra, put it that way. The other one I didn't because I cut it on the other way, so it doesn't matter, it's strip inside i'm gonna cut this here then i took this strip see and then that's going to be glue at the other side oh too much glue there that's okay right here There we go. And then this little bitty bitty strip here. Because the other one I didn't have that way. This one was, oops, the old way. So it's just I didn't flip my paper. But it's do the same thing. Et voila. Oh, this can be a nightmare here. What? We're gonna take care of that, friends. Let me take care of that. Put my paper, it's glue there. There we go. We're gonna put a piece of tape and put another piece of tape there. So, um, there we go. Et voila. So that's how I got a cap here, but nothing. So, oh, here it is. That's how I done the Mama Carno. So, very, I just love this. Voila. Okay. Now, number 10. Okay, I won't make my time well. Okay, this one here is like the other one with the frame. So I pre-done the uh, coloring and so on. I mean the glitter. So you want to put it together. And I find it easier to start. When the frame is raised on the outside, I find it easier to start with the front. And the thank you, it's from the Magnolia Blooms. And that is um, stamped with Versamark or whiting uh, Versamark. And emboss with that glimmer white. Now this one gonna get removed. And again with dimensional. There. And I would put more. It's just now I'm looking at the time and I'm gonna push it hard a little bit harder. But you want to make enough that your frame don't cave in. And here, oh, I need one in the bottom, though. Well, I have warned people to get their popcorn ready, to get their, um, their drink ready, and, and go potty first, so we should be good. If you have to go, is recorded so you can watch later and also if you place your order of $50 or above with the hostess code you're going to get all the PDF all the measurement the color what I use everything and also the the extra video for this for the cut your paper so then you can go at your own speed after today, I don't want to see glitter for a while, my friend. Here we go. All matched up. Now we're going to use more of this. 
And this, all the branch, if you see, I put all my glitter on it, my glue and then glitter. It's just bring this to life like no tomorrow. Okay. I love the foam strip. They are very quick. Very, very quick compared to the dimensional. I mean, it's slick. Scrape this off, scrape this off, yeah, you can watch it again, but to get all the measurement and so on, it's only with the PDF. See this one, I'll slick it when I went from the top. See, boom. The more you do, the easier it gets. See, boom. And then, voila, I put a strip there. See, I started stand up, and that was much easier. So that's another, it's like those tele telescope card. It go whatever way down. Here we go. That is done. Now, number 11. Okay, number 11, it's, um, it, it's another frame, and I emboss it, the vellum on it. It's like the other one that I had thrown that I cut around, whatever. So uh, stamp it with Versamark embossed with the glitter uh, white and your open frame so that you can cut it without the, the center or you can cut with the center. Now, I didn't include this one because I wanted to refresh your memory. I know I did a lot that's already glue, but the best way to do it it is with liquid glue, and you take your card, stand up, put the other paper stand up, and then see, you put your hand on each side, and boom, see how slick it is? It's easy to match. Voila. Now, we're going to do our frame. Um, where's my... I like my silicone mat. It make it life a lot easier. Okay. I'm going to take this. Oops. I'm upside down there, but that's okay. You can offset it a little bit so then you can see the, that's what I'm trying to do there. You can see a little bit of that, um, the flowers. I think that look good when it's offset. Okay, so when you offset and you see the flowers like that, oops, I got some glue. One thing you want to do though, the frame itself, you don't want it to show. So you're going to come here. And you just want to put on the side. Now we're going to take this, put glue here. Here we go. And oh, make sure it's not upside down. Put that at the top, and you still see through your nice, lovely tree, and it would work better if my hands are not full of glue. Voila! Now we're going to take, oh, a little glue, oh, maybe I can take just the glue here. Okay, I need to reach for another, uh, you know what, this needs to go upside down for a bit, so it's... Okay, now I have to be careful not to squeeze R because I've been squeezing R and now I'm going to have a mess here if I squeeze R. 
And we're going to do one of the glitter snowflakes right there. And another one at the bottom. They are so pretty. And then inside, so you see, I think you can, yeah, you can see through the window. See, you see all the trees look like a frost. Really, that's what it looked like. And then inside, I think, yeah, I just took that little strip there that when you cut, you get all those little strip there. I'm going to take this, put that right here. And then my snowflake is right there. If voila, you had another one done, my friend. I really, really like um, vellum with these print. All of these print vellum look very lovely. Number 12. Okay, now I think we're done with the prints. Nope. Almost though, one more. So this again, this one I kind of reverse it. So what we're gonna do? It's okay. It's all glue. I mean, all um, cut. So we're gonna put our outside frame down. So we raise the middle. It's kind of bit like the mousse we done, I think. So that then, if that's the case. The, the outside that's not raised up, you want to put that one first, okay? And now we're going to put the center, because the center it's not raised, but you still have to put this one. You don't want to raise that one and try to put the center. It's make it kind of tricky a bit. So I put this. Oh, make sure I'm on the right side. Here we go. Now we're going to lift this up. Now we need um, this foam strip again. So you see, we use a lot of foam strip tonight. So if you buy some, you're going to put them to use. They won't collect the dust. Don't you hate when you buy something and you think, oh, I really, really need that, and you get it, and it's just there to collect dust? Just mark yourself a little note when you buy something and what you saw to use it with. Because a lot of time, by the time you get it, you're like, hmm, what am I supposed to do with that? I mean, from trip, the strip, it's very simple, but sometimes you buy different embellishment and you're like, hmm. Okay, where did that go? Here. You want to make sure that you look at your image so you follow that. This one seems to work there. Here we go. Now, this I use the, <clears throat> the petal, uh, perennial uh, flower, and I did two with the glitter, the glimmer uh, paper. One in rich raspberry, and I used the wink of Stella on top of it. And that we're going to glue that. Well, first, before we're going to glue that, let's use our own folder here. And we're going to curl that. And I know I had a little dots that was going with that, and now I don't see my little dots. Must have flew someplace. Okay. We're going to glue them together. So take glue dots. Crisscross it. Again. go. Now I'm going to take blue dots. I'm going to put a few in the back here. Put that right at the corner. Make sure I don't pass the side of my car. Now I'm going to take this. Take the blue dots. Oops, wrong way. That's okay. 
going to lift this. Right there. Now I had a little tiny uh, half inch circle here. I can do it right now. And it's rich razzle berry. Rich razzle berry. Okay, it's the half inch. And um, I would put a wink of Stella on it and let it dry, but because Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the wink of Stella, but just on the outside so I get something in the center to grab, because if not, it won't grab on something wet. So, see? Sometimes my brain works a little bit better than I think. And then we're going to take the lovely jab, and that is the medium one here. No, the big one. Is it the big one? Oh, it's going to be the big one. The big one or the medium? Et voila. How simple this was, right? And I had stamped the happy birthday at the bottom there. And then, this is our number 12. So I just overlap my, um, where is my excuse here? I just, oh, oops, overlap my, um, whatever it's called, the, the strip left over here. This, and I'm going to, I'm going to twist that a little bit around here. Watch this. I'm going to take this, put that right here. Just so it's no right and wrong. And then this one. I'm going to put the glimmer on top, and the um, silver. And then these, turn it around, and cut. Very little. Voila! So now, you got the flower one. Very, a lot of frame with these cards. I want to showcase that paper. And I feel with the frames, that's really what showcases the paper. So now we work with all the prints. You saw every print. It's 12 print. We did 12 cards. So you saw every print, the beautiful print. In the back of it, you had the silver. For those ones, most of the silver one, the leftover, I'm using the back of it. So I'm using the foil uh, edge card. A lot of it, it's done about the same. So with the leftover, like I said, when you're going to cut your card, it's going to say save this strip or that strip for this card or that card. And that's what it is here. So um, these are too long. And you see, they're like this. So I need to cut them. I need my trimmer here. You're going to need to cut them, after you get your strip there, cut them at 5 inch. So you're going to cut that at 5. And all the ones that I've been putting aside, we use them inside. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. These here, what i done, I need a piece of scrappy paper though. Okay, you're going to take your paper, you can use a sponge, you can use a brayer, foam brayer, whatever you like. Me, I like to drag. So what you're going to do, it's sponge or drag, voila, sponge or drag, and all the color, some are different, but it's the same technique. See, bing, bang, boom, it's done. And where is my inky rag? I cannot live without my inky rag. Take your inky rag. Oh, something deep at me. Here I go. Et voila. Oh, I should have, you know what, back up the bus a minute. 
I should have done all that before I cut it. So we won't do those little pieces, but I'm going to show you where they go, though. You're going to take your piece of um, flirty, flam uh, is it flirty flamingo. Yeah, it is flirty flamingo. And we're going to mount that. Right here. So now you see how to use both sides. I mean, it's hard not to use this pretty print, but with leftovers like this, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to put that right here. I do about oh, a quarter inch on the side and bottom there. So you see, you get a gap there. Then you get your other strip that I cut to put in the center of this. So then, voila. Now we're going to take this. We're going to mount that. Oops. Oh, my, my. My, oh, my. Let me get something else. Night of Navy, it's coming, honey. Somebody said, I think Night of Navy would have been stunning. We get, oh, we get one of that. Okay, we're going to take this. And we're going to put that right here. Okay, this one you're going to see, I used the same, the uh, thread, the silver thread. We did that in another card. So I won't do it on this one, so we can speed up a little bit, but you can rewind the video when it's done and watch how I done that. I, I stamp in um, Pretty Peacock, the happy birthday, and that's come from the Magnolia Bloom, and then I stamp the Magnolia in the back, the little one, in Fleur de Flamingo, and it is done a, a pop-up. Like I said, the other one, I got the, the thread, the um, uh, silver thread there. And we're going to put that right here. Voila. Inside, see, that's why I said, oh, I should have color first. So I won't put these two there, but that would have been color, the one you cut at the bottom. What I done, I put them together. They would have been color. Remember that. Cut. Oops. And I cut in the center and then I come on each side to do your little banner. And then you're going to glue one a little bit higher. You're going to just turn. Oh, well, I'm going to glue it. I'm not, I, it don't have to be color. That's okay. Going to put one a little bit higher. You can put the same length, but sometimes I like to put one. Oh, this one I, I must have made. I like to put uh, glue at different length. And here. So imagine the color or not color, whatever. Here we go. So now you get some cards done with your leftovers. How about that? Number 14. You said Night of Navy. It's pretty peacock. It's still pretty. So um, I stamp the inside, the snowflakes inside. And here this, we're going to cut this at five. So you want to sponge first and then bring that on your paper cutter and cut that at five. And then you're going to glue that. So glue, 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 glue. It's two different print. If you look closely, one it's more like a flower, and the other one it's more like um, snowflake. 
because they were two different prints. So that's why the video that I've done is going to tell you, save this one for this card, that one for that card, and so on. Now, the center, we're using the silver foil for the center of this one. So you see you're using all the bits and pieces here. And then we're going to mount those two together. And it's all the same size circle stitch. I think I use all the same size. If, yeah, I did. I don't have to remember. I know I did. I'm looking. So this circle, the stitch circle, it is uh, the two, the two, one, seven, eight about. Yeah, one seven eight, and then two inch for the back circle there. Now uh, this is right flat; it's not even mounted. Put that right there, and then our snowflake. Oh, oh! I just see that my snowflake. Well, I don't have time to put another one, so we're gonna operate him even more. I was missing it. Here we go. Now it don't look as bad. We're going to use a glue dot. It's going to be a glue dot. It's going to be a glue dot. Okay, put that there. Save a bit. We're going to put that right here. Remember what we're going to take. Take this sticky away. Where's my inky bag? Oh my gosh, my inky racket's leaving me everywhere tonight. She needs to on my lap. And then we're going to put this at the top. And then inside, I did the same thing. So you would cut, cut. And on oh, this one, I put it on the side there. See? Who knows? I, I was determined to use all the bits and pieces, my friend. Put it that way. So, you know what, I, this one I'm going to put it this way, and then the other one, oops, more glue there, and I'm going to put it right there, side by side. I don't know if I like it upside down, it's straight, so you get both IDs, here we go. So we brought the party inside. So, here it is. We're, oops! Oops, oops, back up the booze. Back up the booze. Beep, 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 beep. We forget a little glitter. Oh, not glitter, but our, oh, where'd that one go? Our uh, rhinestone. Here we go. Voila. All done, my friend. Number 15. We're on the road. We're on the road. Number 15. It is the same thing with the color, but this one, it's Mod Podge because it was many bits and pieces left over from different print, right? So this one here, it's um, ink, um, I mean, sponge or dragon with pretty peacock, cherry cobbler, and mossy meadow. Now, this circle, though, it's bigger. It's two and a half, I think. Uh, it's just because I had that loose on my table. So two and a quarter. But the center, it's the same. So we're going to mount that together. And again, it's from the Itty Bitty Christmas. Put that there. Now, this one here, the little trick that I found to match that... We're going to do the top and the bottom first. Top and the bottom. So the top, I get the polka dot here. 
and I leave about a quarter inch at the top and then on the side like this so and then we're going to do the bottom that's the red cherry cobbler bing, bing, bing. and we're going to do that the same thing leave about a quarter inch and then we're going to come with the green that's kind of the pine uh pound uh, needles there i think that look cool and we're going to put that in the center and it doesn't matter if it touch or not because we're going to cover that up excuse me wet i get a little strip of the foil silver we're going to take that and put that at the top on where it mount on each other so that way it cover our little mess a bit but we're using every bits and piece of paper here and the beauty about this class i think it's i use uh like every occasion too so it's not just for christmas i think this paper it's so pretty and if you live in a place with four season you know that snow it's not just coming at christmas a lot of time the snow come after christmas so and some of it is just like a frost and so on so i really like uh, this paper for all occasion when i saw that paper i was drooling a little bit And that paper come in stock and back, back order, back in stock. Right now it's in stock. So if you want to stock up, because you know it's just available while supplies last. At the end, it, no more is going to be coming. So I would say if you like it the way I like it, I would say get it while you can. There we go. I put a gem on top of that. I'm just cleaning a little bit here because I cannot work when I get all that glitter on top of me i just can't and then inside oh yeah it's just the stamping this one what up so see card 15 i get bits and pieces from card number three card number five card number six and in the video i show you all that in the pdf too you're going to have all those numbers like that so it's no doubt where this and this come from voila Here we go. Then this one was bits and pieces of leftovers. My goodness. So I got all those little square. That those one I had to trim a tiny little bit there. Because it was not just square. So I glued this at the top of my knight of uh, navy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And like I said, this one, it was all bits and pieces. And the last card too, the last card, because if you see when I started advertising, I said 17 cards and I had a few strip and I couldn't figure what to do. Well, I did. So then I could say I use it all. And again, this is from the Cardinal stamp set there. Christmas one, uh, the Christmas, and then I got the Christmas tree. What you want to do is put the two in first, okay? So um, what I mean by that, it's this. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to put it a little bit higher this time, a little bit more than my sample. And then this print. You don't touch in the center but almost now the center center one do that it's raised up and you're gonna see man that looked funky because the three is gonna be sideways well that's why I came back on top what the heck look at the backing never saw that before um, that's why I came at the top with the glitter tree because you see the tree it's like oh my gosh it's going sideways what to do with that what to do well I'm like I'm gonna use that puppy you know, whatever I'm gonna do see I got my glue here 
And what I've done is took my three, my glitter three, and then put that there. So then that covered that side three. I was, I would have said, you know what, this is Wyoming winter right there, coming all on the side, the wind, but see, boom. So now you just see the nice branch beside it. It's always a way to use every bits and piece. And um, Ollie's answering all the comments. I glance at it a little bit, but you see with the way I create, it's hard to read all that. But one thing I'm going to say, though, I read all of them after. So you don't want to say something too bad about me because I'm going to read it. I'm teasing you. Now, I read all of them, though, because I just want to know what you guys think about the class and so on. Again, this one was coming from 356. And then inside, I just stamp my uh, snowflake and my greeting. If voila, my friend, here's another one. And this one is a kind of a fun one here coming up. So here is wet a uh, mossy meadow that I sponge. So. Um, And I know why I didn't trim them, because I didn't want to lose all the bits and pieces. So I need that at five. Here we go. And we're going to glue this just like the other one. Like this. And then like this. Oh, oh my God. You know what? I think I'll shift this one down a bit. And okay. Now I took that stripe ribbon, and this one I find it very tricky to work with. Because you get this stripe going this way, and if you flip it, see, it's a different, so, because you get the reverse. So we're going to use, uh, this one, it's more the red, this one, we're going to use more the white. So what you're going to do is, it doesn't matter which one you put first, really. So I'm going to put... You just want to use the same, oh, I said more white this time, so you can see the difference. Put that right here. Cover the center there. Then go in the back. See, you cover all your center. I think this piece was the up and down that's okay it's all work we're doing a cross okay that's very too much there this one should have been the other way but it doesn't matter it's it's down now there we go put that there now this bow that I'm going to show you it's not a bow that I do a lot okay it's called the bunny ears bow but for this ribbon, I think it's a must. And you will see, because then we can keep it on the same side. And then inside, I won't do it. It would have been this also. Okay, like this. See? Oh, why well, this one is there? Oh, I think I just wanted to put one. You know what? This one's going to be two. Side by side here. Okay, oops, this is stuck there. Now, what is a bunny bow? It's, you're going to do a loop. So we want the more white. So you're going to do a loop. 
and you're going to do another loop so you get the bunny bow bunny ears you're going to take this press it under and under and then you're going to tie this so you get your bow and you see your ribbon it's all sticking together you get one side that it's not it's see on the other side but that's okay because you're going to take this and twist it and we're going to be a oops keep that tight we're going to be able to see it's already twisted that's the best way to do any time of that you get a ribbon that um you need it's a different side see this is one side this is another one that's my best way to do those both what it's called the bunny ears well voila so now to glue this one we're going to use two dots oh here it is hey we just get one more well two hours 90 minutes to two hours and I said the beginning didn't count, so I did pretty good. For 18 parts, you get your money work. Oh, it was free. Here we go. And under, make sure it don't move. This one with that one. And then the other one with the card stock too. I should have done that before putting the bow though. But that's okay, I got it. Okay, now that is done. I got a flat knot. This was lucky because my other one, the, the knot was not that flat. I'm going to cut sideways. And I want this one. Here we go. And then we're going to take our snowflake. And we're going to use blue dots. That center, it's almost too nice to uh, cover. Here we go. Does that look like a prison or what? I think so. And then inside, I got this here that I don't know where it goes, but I, I won't put, see, really this would go there. I get, well, maybe that go in the other one. I'm just going to leave it like that, and you know how to put your banners now. Here we go. Ollie, you can start uh, pulling all your thing for the, the, the drawing, because this is our last card. So this is the card that I thought that, hmm, I, I, it's nothing I can do with this. Well, you know what? I got it done. So I had those little strips here, and I was like, what the heck to do with that? Well, here's what I done. So I use this, and we're going to mount that. Okay, pull it out there, and then this will be here, and then this. So um, I did top and bottom. about a quarter again and then this one about a quarter again and then the other two oops I see the top one I went sideways a bit there I'll go there and then this one. This strip looks a little bit different. Maybe I trim different. Here we go. We're going to mount that on my night of navy. It's look like twilights. Okay, then I'm going to use the one of my favorite embossing folder of last year, the tiles and pen of tiles. 
So you're going to put that there, and I'm going to emboss all the layers, all of it. Try to center that a little bit here. Okay, let me emboss this. Rolling. See, when it's embossed, it's really changed the look. I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but it really, really changed the look. Now I'm going to take this and we're going to mount that on our silver foil again. So we got five cards that it's done on the silver foil. And then we get one on just the regular white cut at eight and a half by five and a half. So that makes six. And then we get 12 that it's 11 by four and a quarter score at five and a half. That give our 18 cards. Now I'm putting this over here on light of navy. And that was done really flat. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to use my... Um, Blue dots. I was thinking hard there, my friend. And then, it's done. I'm very impressed that I didn't forget March, too, because I prepared this class in September because I was planning to do it in October. Here we go. How about that? So, what do you think of the class? Did you like the product? Did you like the project? Let me flip you. Or should I give you a, no, it's all a mess back there. I, well, you can see the mess. I don't care. See the table? I mean, it's very, um, it's, it's all over the place. But I thought to show you all the cards, but then I'm afraid it's going to all fall there. So that is it. We're going to have a winner here in a minute. I'm looking for. Terry Rodriguez, Terry Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. So, uh, Terry, I know Terry, it's in the U.S., I think. Um, if you want to um, go on my blog at frenchystamps.com, right there, you get contact me. Send me your mailing address, and that's going to be in the mail tomorrow. Where's the door price? Right here. So congratulations, Terry. So you get the stamp set, you get two um, memory and more card pack, the sale, uh, come sail away and make you and more. And then you get the sequence uh, also. So congratulations, uh, Terry. And I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I absolutely enjoy creating. And I know for some of you, two-hour class, it's long. But when I do a class, I want to make sure that if you save the night to join me at a class, that it's worth saving your time. So I always say I'm going to try to do an hour class. It don't work for me. It just don't work. I mean, my lives are one hour. Last night, I did four cards. And so... Uh, I was hoping in 90 minutes, I went over, not, I cannot say I went over 30 minutes because we had, I explained at the beginning and then the difficulty of the echo. So I went a little bit over, not that much, right? So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And to all of you that support me in my business, thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. And Holly at the other end, you know how much I appreciate you to, um, uh, answer everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Till next time, everybody, happy stamping. And soon that I find out, I'm going to find out in the next week or so if we do have class on November 23rd. I'm going to keep you guys all posted. Don't forget, if you place an order with the hostess code of $50 with YD um, Going, here we go. YD2NXZBG. You're going to get the PDF uh, file of tonight. 
for the 18 cards with all the supplies measurement. Plus, you're going to get the extra video on how to cut the paper, separate your paper and all that to make your 18 cards. And also, it's going to give you access to my retire stamp sale. And so that is it. Have a good night. Bye-bye for now.